The moon has always been a mysterious place. It's also a very, very long way away. About the same distance as travelling non-stop around the equator ten times. Quite a trip if you're planning to visit. Of course, in 1969, I had no idea about statistics like that. I was just an eight-year-old kid living in the country. And when I got together with a couple of mates and we decided to try to beat NASA to the moon, using skyrockets, no less, I really thought that we stood a chance. But then, around lunchtime on Monday the 21st of July 1969, I joined 600 million people, about a fifth of the world's population, to witness something truly awe-inspiring. And I realised it would take much more than skyrockets to achieve anything like it. Here at Peach Ridge Public School on that amazing, unforgettable day, our headmaster, Mr Wallace, brought into the classroom something called a television set. We all crowded around, he told everyone to shh, he adjusted the vertical hold, and we looked, and sure enough, unbelievable, there was a man in a funny suit climbing down the ladder of his spacecraft and onto the moon. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Most people still don't realise the vital part Australia played in the historic Apollo 11 moon mission. And if you believe the film The Dish, then you haven't heard the half of it. I want to find out the true story of Australia's role in this extraordinary event and why it brought so many people to the verge of tears. It's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind.